हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज शिप कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड विल स्टार्ट विथ शिप डायमेंशन सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट थिंग इज लेंथ ओवरऑल वट इज लेंथ ओवरऑल लेंथ ओवरऑल मीन्स द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द एक्सट्रीम पॉइंट ऑफ अ शिप एक्सट्रीम फॉरवर्ड एंड आफ पॉइंट सो दिस इज द एक्सट्रीम फॉरवर्ड पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द एक्सट्रीम आफ्ट पॉइंट ओके यू कैन से दीज आर द एंड पॉइंट इन द फॉरवर्ड एंड द आफ्ट साइड ऑफ द शिप सो द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम this is known as length overall the overall length of a ship okay this is length overall and it is measured along the center line of a ship and it is used for berthing and maneuvering of a ship next is summer load line summer load line means the water line the water line at fully loaded condition in summer okay similarly we have winter load line which is water line at fully loaded condition in winter so uh, summer load line uh, is like this okay with respect to summer load line we have forward perpendicular and aft perpendicular what is forward perpendicular forward perpendicular means the four side of a stem this part okay this part is known as stem we will discuss about it in the topic of different ship uh, uh, different parts of ship so uh this is uh, summer load line and the point we draw perpendicular to the point where the four side of a stem meets the summer load line okay so this is the point where the four side of a stem meets the summer load line and perpendicular drawn to it this is known as forward perpendicular okay this is known as forward perpendicular similarly we have aft perpendicular which is the aft side okay this is the, it is a perpendicular drawn at the point where the aft side of a rudder post meets the summer load line this is the point where the aft side of this rudder post okay which meets the summer load line so perpendicular drawn to it this is known as aft perpendicular okay one more thing that if in case we do uh, rudder post is not fitted then we will take the center line of rudder stock as a aft perpendicular okay and the distance between these two is our next that is length perpend length between perpendiculars this is known as length between perpendiculars length between perpendiculars means the distance between forward perpendicular and aft perpendicular it is measured along the load line and it is used for We're calculating our drafts we will discuss about drafts in stability portion okay so this is lbp okay length between perpendiculars next is midship midship is a point midway between the aft perpendicular and forward perpendicular or you can say it is the center point of lbp okay it is like here okay it is uh, the symbol of uh, midship is like this okay midship can be calculated as lbp divided by 2 okay this is for midship next is our next is center line center line is drawn midway from forward to aft okay uh, midway from forward to aft okay so this is our center line okay and uh, with respect to center line facing forward okay with respect to center line facing forward of a ship the right hand side of the ship is known as starboard side and the left hand side of the ship while facing forward is known as port side these terms are majorly used when we uh, when we calculate listing of a ship that we will discuss in our stability portion plus some dimensions which are measured transversely and vertically so first is extreme breadth extreme breadth means the distance between the outer surface of hull plating on port and starboard side see this is the outer surface of hull plating from of port side okay and this is the outer plating on starboard side and the distance between these two 
this distance it is known as extreme breadth okay this is known as extreme breadth it is actually measured at the midship point and it is measured transversely and it is used for berthing and maneuvering of ship next we have molded breadth molded breadth means the distance between uh, the distance between the inner surface of hull plating on port and starboard side this is the inner surface on the port side and this is inner surface on the starboard side and distance between these two distance between these two it is known as molded breadth okay it is known as molded breadth molded breadth this is also measured at the midship point and measured transversely transverse only now next is freeboard freeboard is the distance vertical distance from water level to the top of the deck line this is freeboard this is known as freeboard we will discuss about uh, deck line in our load line portions this is known as freeboard next is air draft air draft means the height of the highest point the height from the highest point on the ship okay this is the highest point on the ship so the height uh, so the definition is like the highest point the height from the highest point on the ship down to the water level at its maximum draft okay this is the water level so this is known as air draft air draft is actually measured when we are traveling or we are passing under a uh, over overhead obstruction like a bridge or power cable etc to keep clear from them next is our draft draft is the vertical distance from water level down to the keel plate okay but we have two different terms in draft first is molded draft and extreme draft molded draft means when we measure from water level down to the baseline uh, baseline means the horizontal line drawn to the top of the keel plate this is the for example this is the keel plate so horizontal line drawn uh, to the top of this keel plate okay this is known as baseline this is the baseline okay and the vertical distance from water level to the baseline or the top of the deck of, uh, of the keel plate is known as molded draft this is molded draft okay similarly we have extreme draft extreme draft means from water level to the bottom of the keel plate okay or this is the bottom of the keel plate okay this is the bottom of the keel plate and uh, from distance from water level to the bottom of the keel plate this is known as extreme draft molded draft is actually used by naval architects for their designs and extreme draft is actually used by masters mates port authorities for under keel clearance and etc now next is molded depth and extreme depth molded depth means the vertical distance between the under surface of weather deck plating and inner surface of bottom plating this uh, see this is the under surface of weather deck plating okay and this is the uh, this is known as weather deck plating okay the topmost deck and the, this is the under surface of the weather deck plating and this is the uh, uh, inner surface of bottom plating so this is known as molded depth this is molded depth similarly we have extreme depth okay extreme depth means the vertical distance from the outer surface of the or the upper surface of the weather deck plate weather deck plating and the uh, bottom surface or the outer surface of keel plating or bottom plating see this is the outer surface of uh, weather deck plating and distance from here to the bottom of the keel plate okay this is the bottom of the keel plate so this distance is known as extreme depth this both molded depth and extreme depth this both are measured at the midship so here we had completed some uh, different types of ship dimensions longitudinally transversely and vertically in the next video we will discuss some terms related to the ship thank you